Tonight, newly released video of a man being arrested at a campaign event for presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. His team posting it to TikTok after Kennedy's speech last night in Los Angeles. The campaign saying the man showed up at a door to the event carrying a loaded pistol wearing what appeared to be a U.S. Marshal badge and asking to be taken to the candidate. The campaign alleging that security also found a backpack with another handgun, knives and ammunition before calling police. Tattoos on his arms, neck and hands, wearing an EMT shirt, holding a U.S. Marshal's badge, has a gun on his shoulder holster. L.A. police telling us they arrested 44-year-old Adrian Aispuro. He's accused of carrying a concealed weapon. My name is Adrian Paul Aispuro. This video posted to TikTok back in July. Police say Aispuro never drew his gun or threatened anyone at Kennedy's event. The incident happening just miles from where Kennedy's father was shot and killed during his own presidential bid in 1968. Five years earlier, JFK was shot to death in Dallas, the family's tragic history partly driving RFK Jr.'s request for Secret Service protection, a request the campaign says has been twice denied. Former Secret Service agent Evie Pampuris says those requests could now be worth another look. In the decision-making process of whether or not he should get protection, my humble opinion, I think he should. You have enough factors here showing vulnerability, showing that there's danger to his life. And Aaron, do we now know whether Kennedy will now be getting Secret Service detail? Well, Jose Kennedy's campaign said today that it now plans to make a third request for Secret Service. It's worth noting that most candidates don't get that protection at this point in the campaign cycle. And Jose, the suspect in this case, is being held on a $35,000 bail. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.